From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Some universities are offering students chocolate, therapy dogs, and video games as ways to cope with their finals. The future of our country is in big trouble. Lennar, the nation's largest home builder, is going to include Amazon's Alexa built in to all of their homes. It'll be almost the same as trying to communicate with a family member who's ignoring you. It'll be like talking to the wall. According to a recent study, fast food actually contains more calories than we thought, which means we're getting more for our money. Score! According to a study, antioxidants in cocoa might help your heart by keeping your blood vessels relaxed, thus easing blood pressure and helping circulation. The study shows that cocoa's antioxidants, called flavonoids, coax the body into making more nitric oxide, which relaxes the blood vessels. Wait, hold up here. I thought Flavonoid was that rapper who wears a clock around his neck. You're saying that he's good for my blood pressure? I don't know. I, I don't listen to rap. I don't know. Hey, we've all been mad at the cable guy, but a woman in New Jersey took that anger to a whole new level when she left her cable guy stranded in the air. The dispute took place at an intersection in Ridgewood between a woman and an Optimum Cable employee. It's unclear what the dispute was about, but police say the 59-year-old woman turned off the worker's truck while he was still up in the lift, leaving him stuck in midair. The woman was charged with harassment, false imprisonment, disorderly conduct, and criminal trespassing. Although I don't, I don't see why she's in trouble for this. I mean, she did tell the guy she'd be back to service him sometime between noon and 5 p.m. Can singing control pain? Doctors at Royal North Shore Hospital in Sydney have been prescribing three half-hour singing sessions a week for three weeks as part of a pain management program. Ironically, to induce the initial pain, they played songs from Celine Dion. Redmond O'Neill, the son of Farrah Fawcett and Ryan O'Neill, was arrested Tuesday around 2.30 a.m. in Los Angeles on suspicion of robbing a convenience store. Man, you know, remember the days when celebrity children would just take after their parents and become alcoholics? Man, those were the days, weren't they? While welcoming back the three men released from jail in North Korea at Andrews Air Force Base early Thursday morning, President Trump bragged that the event probably broke the all-time TV rating for 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there were 250 people watching nationwide instead of the usual 150. Oh yeah, and maybe a couple of insomniac cats and dogs. Being in an unhappy marriage may be hard on the body as well as the heart. A study shows couples that often argue take longer to heal from simple wounds than those in less hostile relationships. Well, yeah, because you don't have anybody there to kiss your boo-boo better. It's a fairly odd world record, and it's been standing for over 30 years. But after all this time, 25-year-old Boston University track and cross-country runner Zach Prescott has set a new high mark for juggling as the fastest time for running the mile while juggling three lacrosse balls. Prescott ran the mile in 4 minutes and 43.2 seconds, barely beating the old record set three decades ago by American runner Kurt Swinson. Guinness World Records will now verify if Prescott's time can officially become the new record. And if the record is confirmed, it could mean his life will… well, uh, well absolutely nothing will, will change for him because nobody's looking for this on a job application. Malaysia just elected a 92-year-old leader. They wanted somebody who didn't know how to operate Twitter. A Thai airline has fined a passenger $94 because, get this, their name was too long to fit on a boarding pass. Yeah, first airlines charge for baggage, then they charge for extra baggage, they begin charging for kids to fly, they charge now if you want another soda during your flight. I mean, how ridiculously greedy can an airline get when they begin charging more based on the number of letters in a passenger's name? A man in China was detained after he inserted feces and motor oil into several ATM machines. He actually thought doing this would make money come out. Yep, you see, there's a lesson to be learned here, folks. Just because you eat cash and have it turn into poop does not mean you can deposit poop in the bank and have it turn into cash. Lots of people talk to their dogs, but some people take it to a whole new level. 
An American Animal Hospital Association poll shows that 33 percent of dog owners admit that they talk to their dogs on the phone or leave messages on an answering machine while away. You know what? We used to do that uh, for our cat, but she doesn't even listen to us when we're at home, so what's the point? South Carolina High School is planning to fine people who cheer too loudly at graduation $1,030. <laughs> you might as well bring the air horn and get your money's worth then. If you need another reason to avoid the tattoos, well, a 23-year-old from Britain almost became the victim of a botched-up surgery because of a minimalist tattoo that led to a mix-up. When surgeons were going to perform a procedure on his shoulder, they mistook the tiny play button tattoo for the actual mark indicating where they had to operate. So they almost operated in the wrong place. See, now this is exactly why God invented the Sharpie. So you can write on your body, operate here. And in news you just can't make up, rapper Dr. Dre has lost a trademark battle with gynecologist Dr. Dre. True story. This episode's brought to you by the Chuck Swindoll Study Bible. If you like to study your Bible but are looking to get more out of it, throughout the month of May 2018, you can register to win a Chuck Swindoll Study Bible, as well as commentaries on both Romans and John. It's like having a personal Bible study with one of America's favorite pastors. Keep it for yourself or give it to a friend or family member to allow them to dig deeper into the Word of God themselves. Register to win right now by clicking the Contests tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!